Hey everybody, Brian here from Witch Doctor. Did a follow-up test to the uh, humidity and powder test. Um, this time what I did is I used my powder thrower, my powder dispenser and teledropper. Um, the previous test I used this thrower which throws by volume and we found pretty significant differences um, with the, the volume thrower. Um, what I'm guessing is the powder that was left out in the humidity um, grew because of the water content and that's why in terms of throwing for volume um, we saw a large difference with the humidified powder showing um, on average 33.5 feet per second slower um, velocity um, and larger group sizes. So I went ahead and threw for weight and I did 29.9 in weight um, for the next series of tests and so I left the again I left some powder out for another 24 hour period in in a humid environment humidity was about the same about 90 percent a lot of the time um, it did dip down to about 59.3 percent temperature was about the same as the last test was 69 degrees 69 to 59 degrees it was um, the temperature when the unsealed powder was left out um, this time found um, interesting result. Throwing by weight um, actually um, had less of an effect on velocity and less of an effect on group size. Uh, there was only an 11 feet per second difference between the, the two five-shot groups that were shot with sealed powder and then the two five-shot groups that were fired with the unsealed powder. So a lot less of a difference, only 11 feet per second, whereas the last test, there was 33.5. So this is from the volume thrower, this is from the weight thrower. Um, so interesting results. Um, it does suggest that the, the volume of the powder grows um, if you keep it in a, a highly humid environment. And as that powder grows, it, it takes up more space. And so your volume thrower is going to give you um, a major difference in the in the volume, but if you throw by weight, uh, it actually is fairly similar, although still a little bit different. There was 11 feet per second difference, and then the group size um, uh, was different. The sealed powder showed 0.1165 tighter groups, so sealed powder generally did better. Um, the overall difference between the unsealed throwing by volume and then the unsealed throwing by weight was 56.5 feet per second difference. Huge difference there. Um, also, the groups were a little bit larger, 0 0.0123. So, um, so basically, uh, again, similar to the first test that I did, I, my conclusions are the same, uh, to make sure you don't expose your powder to um, excessive levels of humidity. Or if you do, um, just make sure you maintain that level of humidity and you tune based on um, that powder's uh, level of humidity. Um, so you can kind of go both ways. Uh, my, my habit and my practice is to uh, seal my powder and keep it in a you know room temperature with average humidity and that seems to um, keep everything consistent. So I'm just going to continue with that practice and not expose my powder to too much humidity. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, please again subscribe, like, and share. Take care.